Hey guys, I'm Karan Birani from Mobius Scrub and I'm going to get into exactly what my video title promises you to do. So the first thing is the S8 comes with various unlock mechanisms and that's pretty awesome because being spoiled for choice can never be a bad thing. From simple swipe to unlock, uh, to secure pin and uh, pattern styles, to ultra high secure biometric unlocks like iris scan and fingerprint scan, the S8 leaves nothing in the market at the moment. What you should do is set up multiple unlock mechanisms and have them active at the same time. This way you can use whatever is convenient for you at that moment and not be restricted. Let's say your finger is dirty and your eyes aren't. <laughs> you could just unlock using iris. Or let's say you are in a meeting and you don't want to raise up your phone to unlock, then you use your fingerprint. Or if everything in the world is against you, then you just use the pin or the pattern unlock. So yeah, you know, you've really got a lot of options with the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, and I think you can use that to your advantage just have everything enabled. Why not? I mean, the fingerprint, the iris scanner, the pin pattern, and yeah, it works like a charm every time. Now, the other thing you should definitely do is set up smart lock. This way, your phone automatically identifies when you are in a secure place like your home and automatically disables secure unlocks just for faster unlocking. Because, you know, why do you always want to use iris or fingerprint or pattern when you know that it's you, right? So there are multiple conditions that can be set. For example, setting up a home location so that whenever you are at home, the S8 knows that you're in a secure zone and de deactivates other locks. Or let's just say you set up a body detection. So the device will stay unlocked or basically have secure lock mechanisms disabled as long as it's with you and until you kept it on a table or something. And of course, you know, if you're connected to your car's Bluetooth, it knows it's with you, right? So yeah, it's, and then there's just no lock in that case. It just unlocks directly. While we are on the subject of lock screen and everyone has been talking about the always on display, I thought I'd throw in my two cents as well on that. The always on display is actually quite customizable. In addition to choosing onto what information you'd like on your phone's lock screen from a selective menu of choices, like, uh, you know, you've got the calendar, you've got the edge panel, the date and time. Uh, you could also go into these and customize them even further with whatever you like. From exam for example, you could go into analog clock and from various clock styles to colors to layouts, you can pretty much keep changing them every day and still not get bored. So, you know, you've got multiple options for, for choosing colors, gradients and whatnot. But a few people know that you can actually customize this even further. Go into Galaxy apps and go into AODs that you'll see in the bottom right corner which is basically always on display. And you've got a whole library of custom built always on display designs that you could download and install. And this definitely gives you that extra edge of customization that a lot of people don't even know about right now in the market. And you can choose to not tell them, uh, you know, <laughs> and just have a little fun of your own saying that your device came with all of these installed. So what do you do when you're about to go to sleep or enter a meeting? You go ahead and you change your profile, right? Mute or vibrate or whatever. So one of the most important things that I do is to set up the DND mode. You know, I hate being disturbed by notifications when I'm about to, to, to fall asleep or when I'm sleeping. And sometimes I do forget uh, to change my profile. Uh, with DND, you can automatically set up when your phone should go into silent mode, right? You've got scheduling, you can do that. You know what time you go to sleep and you wake up. But even more important is that you can create exceptions for a few people that are more important and you'd want them to be able to reach you at any time, uh, you know, for emergencies. So you could pretty much uh, create exceptions. So you go into allow exceptions and go into custom and you could actually set up people uh, that can uh, reach you out, right? So you could set up, for example, repeat callers, people who keep calling you again and again within the 15 minutes, maybe it's emergency. Or uh, you could actually set your favorite contacts to be able to reach you at any time. And to make a contact, your favorite contact, just, just tap into that contact uh, from your contacts list and tap the star icon uh, that's there. That's it, you know, it's, it's added. And you can have, you can allow priority app notifications as well. Now, since we are on the topic of sleeping, uh, one other thing that most people don't know is that exposure to regular screen light, which contains a lot of the blue tone, really disturbs your sleep pattern. Uh, this is scientifically proven, not something that I'm making up, and which is why Samsung has gone ahead and introduced a blue light filter that reduces the blue light being emitted from the screen, reduces the strain on your eye significantly, and also lets you schedule it, uh, you know, when should it turn on and turn off. I'd highly recommend that you do this and trust me, you'd notice the difference in a dark room when you're on your phone and your eye is not going to feel as stressed uh, as it would be with regular lighting and you can totally try that out. Uh, 
Another great thing is it can be scheduled from sunset to sunrise. What that does is it automatically takes the uh, you know the blue light strength, the filter of the of the blue light filter, and it it automatically creates that opacity or the transparency of the filter basis how dark it's getting outside, which I think is pretty good. There are apps there that can do that in the Play Store, but yeah, you know, go ahead and uh, use the natively built feature in the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus to make full advantage of that. The next thing on my list is the edge panel. I'm hoping you already know that you can add or remove more edge panels, right? You can reorder them and you can customize them with your favorite apps or contacts. But I'd urge you to firstly go ahead and explore more edge panels that are out there in the Galaxy App Store. I mean, they're just quite a lot of them. Some are paid because they're, they're really good and some of them, and quite a few of them are actually free. So you could just go ahead, download and install. For example, uh, you know, you've got this uh, calculator uh, app. Uh, which is a calculator edge panel, which I installed. It's really handy and it's instant, right? So there you go. No more hunting for where your calculator app is because you've got it right there on the first swipe. And obviously you can change the positioning of it wherever you'd like, but that's pretty much how it is. You can also customize the look of your edge panel in totality. For example, you can change the positioning of where you'd like to pull the edge panel out from, uh, whether you want it on the right or the left, uh, depending on your you know, majority usage. Change the size of the active edge area, which is active, and set the transparency as well. And you can choose to enable or disable the, vibrate, the quick haptic feedback that you get when you uh, touch it. While there are a lot of to-do and reminder apps in the Play Store, but honestly, unless you're juggling through a lot of high priority multiple projects at work, a simple reminder app is just what you need. And that's what the reminder app in the Galaxy S8 does. It integrates really well. You know, for example, right after a call, you can tap the reminder button and add a reminder to call back or follow up basis what you've spoken on the phone or even if you got a busy tone. And that happens a lot, right? Um, the app lets you add specific uh, date or time or location based reminders uh, that pop up when you get to a location as pointed by you, for example. So here you go, you know, you could set up um, things like uh, one hour from now or before bed or when I wake up or a specific date and time, which is probably the most used uh, scenario. And of course, a location, right? The app is extremely minimal, simple, elegant, and it even gives you a couple of uh, color options. You could go into settings and you could change colors. And, you know, they're pretty nice. You know, you've got a very light gradient into the background and makes it look pretty good. And even better, this app integrates so well with the S8 that you can have a dedicated reminder edge panel that lists down all your reminders. The last one is not so important, but it does reduce some redundancy. The Bixby app currently is half-baked. It does not really integrate very well with most of the things on your phone, and the Bixby voice assistant is not even active yet, which I believe would be the most helpful. You might want to go ahead and deactivate that for now so that you don't accidentally stumble upon it while you're swiping your home screen. So just pinch to zoom, go to the Bixby uh, screen and turn it off. So that's it folks from my side, a couple of things that surely make the S8 extremely useful right out of the box and the S8 is able to do all of this without downloading any third party apps.